My friends, my name is Tim Johnson. You join me on the first day of my adventure on the Camino de Santiago. I'm about 10 miles in, in a town called Santa Ponza. I'm doing um, 18 miles today to a town called Guiliana, where then I'll have to find some accommodation. I'm in the middle of this amazing town in Santa Ponza, a Roman town called Italica, which is, and I'm in the middle of an amphitheater now, as you can see. I just wanted to quickly say, please follow this journey. I'll be sending regular updates on the channel and never be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Never be afraid to try something new. Sorry about the noise in the background. The fact that I'm haven't got a bed tonight to sleep in and um, I'm way out of my comfort zone and I, I'm just discovering as I'm going along means that I'm facing the fear and I'm trying to pass through it and it all go, gives me an idea of what it's like not to have a roof over your head which is the whole purpose of this trip and um, you know I'll be sharing all the scenery and all the hard times and all the tough times with you mentally and physically and all the beautiful sights, because as I step out of Santa Ponsa in a minute, towards Guiana, it's just open countryside between towns, 20 miles in between every day. Um, and I'll be sharing that beauty with you along the way. But let's not forget what this is all about. I'm trying to raise awareness and funds for St Mungo's, who are an amazing 50-year-old charity. You know, with every £25 raised, we can, we can organise uh, addiction counselling and care and mental health counselling for people. They sleep 3,000 people a night in hostels that they have. They help to rehome and give people permanent homes. I just walked through Seville on the way out here to um, Santa Ponsa in a dangerous quarter where there was a lot of people rough sleeping on the streets. I was approached quite a few times and felt discomfort, but I felt more discomfort to see people suffering in poverty with no, to them, no future, to, um, to be in pain, to be hungry, to be cold, to be sick, to be addicted, to be, have mental health problems. And you can help me to help those people by clicking the link in the description and the top of the comments and supporting this journey when I'm walking a thousand miles in 50 days all the way to Galicia and to eventually finish Tere and to uh, Muxia. So two Caminos in one. You know, I'll be pushing myself to the limit, but I want to raise awareness and funds for people. Every single person that donates will be helping to change someone's life. And thank you so much for all those of you who have already donated because you are actually changing lives. The money goes straight to St Mungo's as soon as it's donated. It doesn't sit in a bank account. It goes straight from just giving to them and they're using it straight away to help people, to change their lives, to get them off the streets, to give them a new start, a new home, a new education, to help them with addiction counselling, to help them with drugs um, and to help them with education, as I say, and to help, help them with mental health problems. Please support me. I'm in this marvellous place. Look at this. This amphitheatre, this history. It was built in 2006 BC, Italica the name of this t Roman town, you know, and I'll be sharing these videos with you along the way and eventually sharing a long video. Follow me on Instagram, Tim Johnson 734 follow the journey, but please, more importantly, click the link and help support it and help change lives. Thank you for listening. Much love to you all. Carpe diem. Uh, seize the day, change your life, face your fear, do the impossible and never give up. That's what this journey is all about. It's a metaphor for my journey over the last four years, one step in front of the other and getting stronger. Except this time it's a thousand of miles. And that begins with the first step which I took in Seville. Much love to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.